Hello students. Today in this video we are going to learn how to find the square root of 144 using the prime factorization method. So in the prime factorization method we find the factors or prime factors of the number by dividing it by prime numbers and after finding the prime factors we take the product of the prime factors to find the square root of the number. So let's begin with dividing 144 by prime numbers. Let us write first few prime numbers here. So 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 are the first few prime numbers. So as 144 is an even number, so it is easily divisible by first prime number 2. So we are going to use 2 to divide 144. So let's divide. 2 times 7 is 14 and 2 times 2 is 4. 72 is even number so it can easily be divisible by 2 so we are going to use 2 again 2 times 3 is 6 so 1 will be remainder so this becomes 12 so 2 times 6 is 12 again we are going to use 2 2 times 1 is 2 1 is remainder this becomes 16 2 times 8 is 16 2 times 9 is 18 and now 9 is an odd number. So we are going to use the second prime number which is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 times 1 is 3. So now we got all the factors of 144. Now we are going to write 144 as the product of its prime factors. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 are the prime factors of 144. For finding the square root, we are going to take the square root on both the sides. So taking square root on both sides. Square root of 144 is equal to square root of all these factors. As we are finding the square root, we are going to take pairs of the numbers and write it in exponential form. So this will be 2 square times 2 square times 3 square is equal to square root of 144. Now all these numbers are in the square form and square root of a square number will give us the number itself. So all these numbers will come out of the square root sign. So we are left with 2 times 2 times 3. So square root of 144 is equal to 2 times 2 4, 4 times 3 12. So this is our final answer that the square root of 144 is 12. So this is how you can find the square root of 144 using the prime factorization method. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.